Hey there, this is a 30 minute full body, low impact, no equipment needed workout you can do anywhere, anytime. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, we're gonna do a 30 second march in place. Go ahead and get those knees nice and high. Swing your arms. And we're gonna keep going just like this for 30 seconds, okay? We're halfway there. And we're just gonna keep on marching. Our next exercise we're going to do after this, our next warm up is going to be a lateral lunge side to side. And we're about to start that in three, two, one. So we're gonna stand in place. We're going to keep this leg straight, bend our leg that's coming out, okay? We wanna get the nice stretch in our inner thigh and we wanna sit back into our glutes you might hear a little crackle with my knees. <laughs> and we've only got about five seconds left of this. And we're going to do some squats with an overhead press. Okay, so here we go. We wanna have our feet hip width apart, toes pointed forward. We're going to squat down as low as you can. Come up onto your toes, touch the ceiling. Squat down, come up, touch the ceiling. Again, we're doing this for 30 seconds. We're just getting nice and warm. Pick up the pace just a little bit. We've only got about five seconds left. And keep on going. Last one. Okay, we're gonna put our arms out nice and straight, make a T, and we're gonna do some circles to the front. Almost like you're tracing a plate, okay? Or a circular plate. And just keep on going. And we're almost done. Last one, and let's go backwards. Here we go. So your heart rate should be up. Maybe you should be breathing a little bit heavier just now. <laughs> I know I am already. And we've only got one more. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So now that we're nice and warmed up, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do 15 exercises with 30 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna go all the way through all of those, take a one minute break, and then we're gonna start from the top and go through all of them again. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna hit my timer and we're gonna go ahead in 10 seconds. So our first exercise, we're gonna do a punch, punch, knee lift. So we got it in two seconds, here we go. Punch, punch, lift, punch, punch, lift, punch, punch, so you wanna think about, you wanna come across the body with your punches and you wanna lift your knee, okay? So you're gonna feel this raising your abs. The one place where most people have gotten their COVID 20, 15, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever you put on. Okay, so here we go. So we've got a 15 second break. I'm gonna show you the next exercise. We've got lateral side lunges just like we did in the warm-up. So we're gonna go nice and deep into that lunge to the side. Toes will point forward, and we're gonna sit back into our booty. So here we go. And we kinda wanna pick up the pace just a little. If you can keep up with me, that's great. But the main thing is, is to just get moving and do what you can. If you can only go this far, that's totally fine. You do what you can. If you're Advanced, you've been working out this whole time. Let's go ahead and get nice and deep. If you need to take your time and go a little bit slower, that's fine too. Maybe this is your first time working out. All right, so our next one, by the way, all my stuff is right in front of me. So <laughs> our next exercise is gonna be, just like in the warm up, we're gonna do a squat up on our toes, okay? Again, do what you can. I can go all the way down and all the way up go a lot faster but if all you can do is just a little squat up on your toes that's fine do what you can okay so we're just gonna keep on going we're halfway there we're almost through this 30 seconds we're just gonna keep on moving try to think about your knees being over your toes okay all right our next exercise now is gonna be a single leg good morning. So we're gonna put our fingers up here by our temples 
and we're gonna lean forward and touch back, okay? This is the not so advanced version, but if you have good balance, we can go ahead and put that leg up and touch down. And as you can see, it's very balance intensive, okay? Think about holding your abs in nice and tight. Squeeze the booty, keep everything tight. So now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? So here we go. Fingers up to the temples. If you wanna do it like this, you can. If you wanna put them on your hips, it doesn't matter, just as long as you do the exercise. For me, this is what works best for me, okay? So we're gonna come down and you're gonna notice while you're doing these, one leg, you're gonna wobble all over the place like I am. This is my bad leg. You always have one leg, that's a bad leg. This is it for me. But you just have to keep trying, okay? And remember, you need to just touch back. You can do that, it's totally fine. One more. All right, so the next one, we're gonna spike up our heart rate a little bit. It's a shuffle to squat. We're gonna go shuffle, shuffle, squat. Shuffle, shuffle, squat, okay? So here we go. Shuffle, shuffle, squat. Shuffle, shuffle, squat. All right, if this is too much, we're gonna go step, step, squat. Step, step, squat. But I really challenge you to try to get that shuffle in, okay? Because we're trying to spike up that heart rate. Think about keeping your toes pointing forward as you come down in the squat. Don't let your knees cave in. All right, next one, pretty easy. We are going to do a lunge, okay? So I want you to take one nice big step back you wanna be up on the ball of your toe, make sure you have some space between your feet, kinda of tuck your hips under, and we're just gonna come straight down. Think about keeping your chest up, nice and straight, and just come down. Now, if you have your hand right here, just like I do, your heart's beating pretty fast. It should be. That's pretty good. That's exactly what we want, right? whole reason we're doing this. So we're gonna come up, we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna go ahead and take one step back, nice big step back. Make sure you have some space in between your feet. And again, here we go with that bad leg. <laughs> You're gonna see me wobble a lot on this side. So up on the ball of our toe, we're coming straight down, straight up. Straight down, straight up. You always wanna think of an elevator going up and down. We don't want to go forward like this. this. This is not the lunge. This is not what we want to do. We want to bring that knee straight down to the floor and push up, okay? Keep your other foot nice and flat on the floor and push up through your heel. All right, next one, easy as pie, we're going to jump rope. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this. We can just jump rope. We don't have a rope, but we're gonna pretend like we do. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just jump up and down. Okay, if you can go fast, go fast. Swing that rope around. Now, if this is too much, march in place and swing that rope. But I really want you to bring those knees up nice and high. Hold your abs in, okay? Different ways you can make this easier. You can make it harder. It's whatever works for you. And you want to get fancy. You can do that as well. <laughs> okay. Next one is an inchworm. Inchworm, we're going to come down, go out to a plank, and we're going to come all the way back up. If this is too difficult, bend your knees, come down as far as you can, try to get in that plank, bend your knees again, and go back up. Okay. The more flexible you get, the easier it is because your hamstrings will, they'll be more flexible, they'll be more stretched out. But you want to think about keeping 
your back nice and straight as you come down into your plank. Get one more in. There we go. All right. So our next one, we're going to come down to the ground. This is called, well, it's called a Superman, but I like to call it a Superwoman. We're going to keep our feet on the floor, tucked down, arms out, and we're just going to come up. Almost like Superman. Or for us girls, it's Superwoman. You want to keep your head in a nice neutral position and just come up. Take the time, do what you can. You want to exhale on the way up. All right. Next exercise is called a bridge. So we're going to flip over onto our backs. We're going to have our feet close to our booty and we're going to tilt our hips up just a little bit and push all the way up, okay? All the way up. As you come up, squeeze those glutes. And you also want to think about having your abs nice and tight. We're getting a little bit of double duty on this one. Booty and abs, okay? So every time you come up, squeeze nice and tight. You just want to touch at the bottom. One more. All right. The next one we're going to do, we're going to do alternating lateral shoe taps, okay? So we're going to lift our shoulders off the floor and we're going to touch the side of our shoe. Here we go. Every time you touch your shoe, exhale. And just keep on going side to side. You're doing great. How do you feel? Are you feeling amazing? Or are you just cursing me out at this point? <laughs> My clients, when they're here, they're usually cursing me out, telling me they hate me. And it's okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> there we go. All right. Last one. Hardest move, in my opinion, is going to be a plank. Now, there's different ways we can do this plank. You can do it on your hands. You can do it on your knees. You can do it on your elbows and your knees. Or you can come up on your toes. I'm going to do mine like this. You want to keep your hands nice and flat. Elbows underneath the shoulders. None of this. We don't let it drop. We don't come up. That's not a plank. We want to think about our back is nice and flat. Everything is in alignment. And this is difficult. You're probably shaking by now. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> all right. And that's it, you guys. Round one is over with. We're done. Let's go ahead and take us a one minute break. I'm going to grab some water. I promise you, this is water. It's not coffee. Uh, it's not vodka. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get a drink. Towel yourself off if you need to, and we're going to do round two. All right, how are you feeling? Hopefully you're enjoying this workout. All right, we're gonna start and get the timer started. So we start from the top. We're doing those punches with the knee lift. So here we go, three, two, one. Think about when you cross the body, bring the knee up. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. All right, so you should have the hang of it now. Punch, punch, lift. That's what you can say to yourself. Punch, punch, lift. Punch, punch, lift. Punch, punch, lift. You really get that leg up there. We're spiking up the heart rate and we're working our abs at the same time. All right, lateral side to side lunges. So we're gonna go side to side just like this, okay? All right, here's our break. Catch your breath. If you're still doing the punches, that's great, but let's go ahead and do these lateral lunges. So, don't forget, nice and deep into the booty, if that's what you can do. You kind of almost want to think about getting your chest onto the top of your quad, okay? Sink back into that booty. If you can't do that, it's totally fine. Do what you can do, 
okay? Just a few more seconds. Good job. All right, squat to calf raise. So we're coming down. Don't let the knees come in. Don't let the knees go out. Think about the knees over the toes. Come down, come all the way up. Here we go. Squat, all the way up. Squat, all the way up. You're doing great. We're halfway there. Almost done. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, I know y'all are all saying, this isn't fun. <laughs> but just think how amazing you'll feel afterwards, how accomplished you're gonna feel, your body's gonna feel great, you'll probably have a little bit more energy. All my clients, when they come in, they're like, you know, they hate me, they don't wanna do it, and afterwards, they feel great. So next one is our good mornings, okay? So, fingers to the temples, like this, on your hips, whatever works for you, even if you wanna put them out like an airplane, you can do that. It's just whatever works for you. For me, I don't know, I like to keep them up on my temples, it makes me think that I'm thinking hard and concentrating on what I'm doing, okay? Don't forget, if you don't have the balance, or the flexibility to go all the way up, tap that toe back and come down. But as you come down, always remember, keep your back nice and flat, okay? Take a breath. We're gonna do the other side. And we're gonna start in six seconds. Whew. Three, two, one, here we go. Bring that leg up. I have my little dog locked up in the other room and she's crying like a big baby right now. <laughs> Cause she's like, mom, I wanna be in the video too. But I told her no, it's not professional to have her in this video. <laughs> so we'll just talk about her instead. So don't forget as you come down, always hold that stomach in nice and tight. And there we go, look, we're done. All right, shuffle to squat. So. Come over to the side of your space. Look, if you have a lot of space, go ahead and use it. Shuffle your little heart out and try to get as much uh, coverage as you can, okay? So I don't wanna go too far off because then we'll be in the video. So we're just gonna do two shuffles and a squat. Shuffle, shuffle, squat. Shuffle, shuffle, squat. Get that heart rate going. Get some sweat going. We're breathing. We're working on our mobility, our agility, our lungs, our heart. Everything is working nice and hard. All right, here we go. We're gonna do those lunges. So, one leg back, nice big step back, tuck the hips under, bring the knee straight down, straight up. Push through the heel of the front foot. All the way up. Remember, we are an elevator. We are going straight down, straight up. Chest is up. If you want to put your hand here, kind of keep you, you know, from leaning forward, that's great. We're not going forward like that. We're coming straight down. And your heart rate should be up. I know mine is. I can feel my heart beating. All right. Shake it out. And we've got the other side, so we're gonna go ahead and step all the way back. Tuck those hips under. We're dropping that knee straight down, straight up. Straight down, straight up. And we'll keep on going. Now, it's very important, and I probably should have said this at the top, to always breathe. We don't wanna hold our breath. We're not going underwater. We're not swimming. We want to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. So, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good job. Jump ropes are next. Go ahead and catch your breath. Take a sip of water if you need to. Wipe off any sweat. And we're going to go ahead and get started in just a second. Remember, we can jump rope. We can march. We can put full intensity in it. We can go fast. It's whatever you want to do, okay? 
I'm gonna keep mine pretty much right here. And don't forget, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. You know, like I said, you can do whatever you want. Maybe you want to do jumping packs. I don't know, maybe you want to go slow. Make it fun. Do whatever you want. Just move. <laughs> All right. Interims are next. So you should be loosened up by now. We're gonna come all the way down, out into that plank, come all the way back up. Think about holding your core nice and tight. We go down, we come out into an inchworm, and we come all the way up. There we go. This kind of gives you a chance to catch your breath from the jump rope that we just did. Keep on going. Try to get in one more. Very good. All right. Next one we have Superwoman. All right, here we go. Come down or Superman. Toes down. Make sure you keep your head down. Okay? You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. You want to keep your head down. Exhale on your way up, okay? Superwoman! <laughs> Woo! That was a rough. All right. And now we've got a bridge. So we're going to flip over onto our backs. Feet close to the booty. You want to tuck that, those hips up a little bit. And we're coming all the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. So remember, as you come up, squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Keep your tummy nice and tight. And just keep on going. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. You guys are doing great. I can't see you, but I know that you are. I know that you're working hard, and I'm very proud of you. All right, next one up, we've got that toe, or that shoe touch, side to side. Keep your shoulders up off the floor. We're working our abs, we're at the last two. This is it, one more exercise after this. Here we go. Go ahead and touch the side of the shoe. Keep on going. Don't forget to exhale. You guys are doing great. We're almost there. After this, one more exercise. I might throw in a little extra. Here we go. Come on. You've got this. Keep on going. We're almost there. We've got three seconds. Great job. All right, we're going to come up, flip over. We're going to do that plank. So remember, whatever works for you. Elbows, if you want to come on the knees, because your core's not strong enough, that's fine. If you can come up on your toes, that's great. If you can come up on your hands, that's fine too, whichever way you want to do it, okay? I like to do mine like this, so this is, this is where I'm going to be. And you want to breathe in and breathe out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep everything nice and tight. This is basically a full body exercise, okay? We are working everything. Our shoulders, our arms, our chest, our abs, our core, our legs, and that's it. You guys did great. However, I skipped an exercise. <laughs> and I, it happens sometimes. So we're gonna start right now. We're gonna do push-ups. Here we go, 30 seconds of push-ups. Hands underneath your shoulders. For those of you who need it, we're gonna come on our knees, go down and up, down and up as long as you keep your hands under your shoulders, okay? I want you to think about pushing out. Your elbows are going back like an arrow, okay? For the rest of you on your toes, let's go ahead and do it. Push up. One more, one more, one more. All right, great job, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and stretch and cool down. 
There we go. Great job, everybody. You really did a great job today. I'm very proud of you. Let's go ahead and cool down. We're gonna hop up onto our feet. So go ahead and take your time and come up. If you need to get some water, go ahead and grab some water now. Towel off if you're sweaty. I'm a little bit sweaty, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get right into this cool down, okay? So we are going to start with our feet about hip width apart. We're gonna breathe in. Nice big inhale. We're gonna come all the way down. Nice flat back, all the way down. Stretch the hamstrings. Only go as far as you can. The biggest thing to remember is to keep your legs straight, okay? If you can only go to right here, that's totally fine. We're gonna bend our knees. We're gonna roll up nice and slow. This is like the icing on the cake. Breathe in. Exhale all the way down as far as you can go with your legs being straight. We're gonna hold it here for a couple seconds. We're gonna bend our knees and roll all the way up. Oh, that feels so good. Oh yeah. All right, so now we are going to do a alternating quad stretch. So the quad is the front of the leg. So if you need to grab a wall, put your arm out, Hold on to a chair, whatever you need to do, but we're gonna take our leg and we're gonna stretch the quad, okay? The front of our leg right here. And it's almost like you wanna push into it, okay? To really be able to feel the stretch. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Put your arm out if you need to. Sometimes when I do it, it helps me to pretend like I'm holding onto a wall. I don't know, it's just one of those psychological things. So. We're gonna push into that stretch, kind of tuck the hips under a little bit and feel that stretch. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna do a little lift and hold stretch. Stretch out that lower back, it's gonna feel really good. We're almost done. We have two stretches left. This is gonna be the last one. All right, we're gonna do a shoulder stretch. We're gonna bring that arm across and pull it in just a little bit. We're gonna alternate on the side. We're gonna do it one more time on each side. This should feel really good all through your shoulder. And don't forget to breathe. No holding our breath. This is the end. Don't skip this. And now we're gonna do our triceps. We're gonna come up and we're gonna put our hand on our back like we're patting ourselves on the back. Good job, everybody. Stretch it out. You're doing amazing. We're gonna switch sides. Breathe in. There we go, exhale. Pull that elbow in just a little bit. One more on each side, okay? Here we go. All the way up, pat ourselves on the back for a great job. Down, up. And that's it, we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Thank you for joining me and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.